I don't know what you're talking about. Come on. You told us you were in town for the day. You've been in a hotel since last Tuesday. You told us you were in town alone, and then we find out your boyfriend's with you. What difference does any of this make? My baby's still missing. It's all these lies, Deborah. It makes us think that maybe you know where your baby is. If I knew, why wouldn't I tell you? Where's your friend Shaw? He stayed with me one night, then he went back home. Yeah, well, the problem is there's no Stephen Shaw listed in the Poughkeepsie phone book. They ran the hotel's phone records. This girl made 14 calls to her voicemail in Poughkeepsie. She's got a lot of friends, huh? She made one local call. William Wendell, attorney at law. Debbie Elkins, one of the young, the poor, the pregnant. Uh, not anymore. She gave birth two days ago. Oh, good for her. But it's really not my problem anymore. Was it ever? One of my clients were in the running. It certainly was. Well, wait. Let's just uh, back up a couple of steps. My business is adoptions. I help my clients find these girls. I screen up the kooks, and in one out of every eight cases, I help them through the system. I thought Debbie was one of the good ones. Goes to show. She called me a couple days ago, and she had changed her mind. She said that she wanted to keep her baby. Looks like she didn't do a very good job. Let me ask you something. You get paid only on delivery, right? Sure. Why? Just thinking Debbie's kid's missing. Maybe one of your clients did an end run around your legal fee. <laughs> Are you kidding? Those people are loaded. My fee is meaningless. Did Elkins ever mention a Stephen Shaw? Look, detectives, these girls are very skittish. They just don't open up to lawyers. Yeah, sure, but they spend a lot of time with their clients, right? <laughs> As attorney-client privilege. We're investigating kidnapping and child endangerment, counselor. If you hinder prosecution, we'll come back with material witness warrants for your clients. Stephanie? Yes, sir? Get the Savitz on the phone, please. First, it was our careers, then it was financial security, then emotional security. And by the time we were ready... We tried fertility drugs, in vitro, everything. We thought Debbie was finally the one. We sure did. Let me show you something. We did exactly what Bill Wendell told us. We put ads in college newspapers, in regional papers in the Southeast. Our hearts are open to receive your baby. We have so much love to give. Please call. We had an 800 number installed. We received calls every day. Deborah was the seventh girl we interviewed. She got our number from the school paper at Hudson. She said she was a rape victim, someone that she worked with. We felt so sorry for her. I don't mean to be crass, but we spent a lot of effort and money on this girl. You put her on salary? She was carrying our child. We wanted to make sure she had good nutrition, proper medical care. We, we felt she deserved it. Did she ever talk about somebody named Shaw? She had us make a check out once to a Stephen Shaw. She told us he was her landlord. You still have that canceled check? Yeah. Who are you? We asked the questions. Are you Stephen J. Shaw? Yes, or what? Hey, what the hell's going on? Shut up. What do you think you're doing? Our favorite thing. Stephen Shaw, right, this is Detective Morgan. I'm in room 512 at the Lowry Hotel. Have an ambulance respond to a newborn male. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, won't be provided for you. You're not Deborah's landlord. You're not her husband. You're not even the kid's father. So what were you doing in a hotel room with the baby? I told you, I am her boyfriend. You're quite a ladies man, Stephen. You always let your girlfriends bleed half to death in a cab? She wanted me to stay with the baby. There's plenty of room in that taxi for all three of you. <sighs> I understand the jam you're in. It's not your kid. You wanted her to give it up. 
She didn't want to. You two had a fight. I didn't care that she had been raped. We both wanted the baby, all right? Hey, it was me, and I found out she was pregnant. Man, I would have grabbed my hat and split. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I want to talk to Debbie. Hey, listen. Dumping that kid somewhere was going to make your life a hell of a lot easier, wasn't it? You're wrong, man, all right? Just ask Debbie. You'll see. <sighs> Jeez, this is bad. What are you hassling me for? I didn't do anything wrong. You know what really pisses me off, Debbie? Is some little bitch wasting three days of my life. So you gonna arrest me for it? No, but how about child abandonment? That's pretty serious. What abandonment? I left him with Steven. Okay, so we'll add endangerment to the list. He never hurt the baby. Yeah, after all the lying you've done, who do you think the judge is gonna believe? What do you want from me? For starters, why are you jerking us around? Forget it, Mike. We'll just throw both of them in the can and let the DAs sort it out. The kid's gonna wind up in foster care anyway. Here we go again, man, just like the last time. Those bastards of child welfare. They said I was unfit. They took my daughter away. I'm not gonna let that happen again. What do you want me to do? There's no crime here. She intentionally interfered with a police investigation. That'd get her six months. And you know a judge who put her in prison with a newborn? Forget about it, Lenny. She's just a kid. She got screwed by the system once. Who can blame her for lying to us? <sighs> Child welfare was right the first time. She's garbage. I tell you what, we let her go. We might as well get a head start and arrest the baby right now. Van Buren. Yes, they're here. When? Thanks. The Foundling Hospital just called. Someone walked out the front door with the Elkins baby. First, I took care of the screamers. Add formula, change the diapers, then I counted the sleepers. One short. Well, the report said the baby was taken early this morning. She had authorization papers. What does that mean? The kidnapper had a hall pass? Authorization for transfer to Victoria General, where the mother is. It all looked kosher until the baby's blood workup came in about an hour ago. Kid's allergic to formula, so I called Victoria to tell him. And the baby never showed. Right. So somebody walks in waving the right paperwork and you just give them a baby? But she was a nurse. I mean, she showed me her state card. Dorothy Hemrick. Dorothy Hemrick? You know what she looks like? Um, she was a white lady. Uh, as old as you. Not so tall. Dirty blonde hair and green eyes. She came in at 5.30 in the morning. Isn't that a little before office hours? But she knew everything about the little baby. I mean, she even knew the mother's name. When she saw his hazel eyes, she said they looked just like the mother's. I am so sorry. Please tell the mother that I am so sorry. Hey, she knew what color eyes you had. What, you think we're involved? You got a reason why we shouldn't think it? She said she was a nurse, and she knew everything about you and the baby. Nurse? Oh, that crazy bitch. It had to be Mrs. Baxter. You people want to give us a hint here? We interviewed her about adopting the baby. Wait a minute. What about the Sabbaths? I talked to them after the Baxters. I knew that woman was crazy. Dorothy Baxter? No, uh, I'm her sister. Dory! Dorothy Baxter? Yes. Dorothy Baxter, you're under arrest for kidnapping. Oh, no, this is my baby, though. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to give up the baby. No, I can't. Go right ahead. No, please. No. Just like it's go. all right. Just it's like my go. baby, though. I'm telling all right. you. All right. Okay. Be careful, please. Okay. okay. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent.